Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Great article over on DPS, Digital Photography School. This one's by uh, Christian Hoiberg. Hope I'm saying that last name right. Uh, it's titled, Why I'm Downsizing from a Nikon 70 to 200 f2.8 Lens to the F4 Version. And for regular viewers, many of you know, I've talked about this before, and that's what I would buy if I was recommending to people right now. It's what my kit would entail, the F4 versions. For instance, the 24-120 to 120 F4 VR my favorite Nikon full-frame lens. That's what I would pair with a 610 or a 750 or an 810 or an 850 or any of the full-frame cameras. And then this, the 70 to 200 f4, that's the other one I was get. If I wanted a lens in that range, I wouldn't get the 2.8. The f4 is good for me. I like the fact that it's lighter and it performs just as well, it's just as sharp. And we're just using a, losing a little bit of speed. And I always say at f4 with the really good high ISO characteristics of any of those Nikon full frame cameras. I'm going to shoot at f4 happily and if I want something faster, I want something much faster. I'm going to reach for a 85 f1.8 or an f1.4. I've got my 50 f1.4. So the 284 is not a big deal for me. And that's essentially what Christian found here. He says in the article that when he was going through his images, he found very few were shot at f2.8 and he found too that the lightness and size, um, the lighter lens and the smaller lens was advantageous to him because he was doing more hiking and trips and backpacking and things where the size and weight was essential. A couple other things he points out, autofocus he's found to be just as good, doesn't surprise me at all. He's also found the sharpness to be just as good, again, doesn't surprise me at all. You're not typically losing performance on these f4 lenses, you're just losing the speed, f2.8 to f4. And the other thing is, as I pointed out, uh, or maybe I haven't pointed out yet, but they're also less money. So you're getting smaller, lighter, just as good performance, just a little bit slower, but for less money. As he says, it's nearly half the price of the F2.8. So um, very interesting article here uh, and a shooter experience. Um, doing the same kind of things I've been advocating for some time. I really like the F4 lenses, the same on the Canon side. I don't feel the need for these F2.8 zooms anymore. And I'm sure there's still people that really that's, you know, they're absolutely only going to shoot the F2.8s. If I was still doing a lot of weddings, I may still be, although I think, you know what, I don't think I would be. I think I'd be shooting with a 24 to 120 F4 VR and an 85 F1.8G and also have my 50 F1.4 around. I think that would give me everything I would need fast and a good zoom range. Um, what do you guys think? Um, what do you think about Christian's experiences here and his reasons? Uh, they mirror mine. I mean, I've been saying this for a while. Uh, have you guys switched? Have you gone to the smaller, lighter F4 lenses? Um, are you one of those people that know it doesn't work for you? You're going to stay with your 2.8s? What do you think about the F4 versus F2.8 zooms? And uh, is it has your opinion changed, as mine has over time, as the cameras have gotten better and better? And I've just found the convenience of, say, that 24-120 f4 far outweighs shooting with a 24-70 f2.8 for me. I want to know what you guys have to say on this. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it, f4 to f2.8 zooms. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.